Hello Nuggets. Okay, this is kind of off the cuff um, because I just mentioned it in a different video. Uh, another blog I made. Vlog I made. So uh, I thought I'd do it just off the top of my head so I may not put this up. We'll see. I want to talk about passwords. Okay. So have you ever got those emails that say, hey, we know your password and it's uh, rejuvenile delinquent one, two, three, exclamation mark. They're, they're basically trying to scam money out of you, right? They're saying they basically, someone's had a data breach, some company's had a data breach, your email and your password was exposed. They don't know much about you except for that, but they send you an email saying, hey, look, we got this password. When a lot of people, like my wife, got that email, it panicked her because that's her password, right? It was, now we fixed it, but that's her password. And she doesn't know, she has no idea what spread or what reach those people have, the, the scam artists who do this. She has no idea what they know, where they got the, 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 the password from, how, who got data breached, how it happened, right? She had to change all of her passwords. She had to find a new system. Uh, I think that that's what most people would experience when they get that email, panic and stress, right? When I get that email, I just delete it. <laughs> and the reason is that I have a password system and I know firstly I know exactly where the data breach happened because of my password system if I get one of those secondly there is a potential it will be a generic password and I know which sites in general I use those generic for and the whole point is I don't care if they have that password that's fine let them go try to hack this everywhere they want because it's a completely the wrong password right so it doesn't matter to me when I get that. And the only reason is, is that I have a password system. Now, I used to use, I think it's called Dashlane. Or maybe I'm just, maybe I've just marketing has burrowed into my head as a mind worm. But I used a password system, M-Secure. That's what I used, I think. Um, but basically, it would, it would generate a password for you and stare it across and you have to pay a subscription. Okay, firstly, that's frustrating as hell because you now have to manage your password manager. It's just so frustrating. So I just opted out of that, like I'm done. Which by the way, is another problem with it. Once you want to opt out, you have to go and find out what passwords they use for each site, this bizarre hash of passwords, and then go in, agree, get an email, change it. It's a nightmare. You are better off handling themselves, managing your passwords yourself. And it is a, there is a very easy way to do it that would allow you to have a different password for everything. So all you need is an algorithm. And a friend of mine told me this, someone I work with called Nico. It's a guy I used to work with at a company called Boxer. He was a young programmer, lovely guy, very smart, good programmer. Um, and he one day just said to me, why don't you just use an algorithm? He's a typical programmer. <laughs> and uh, it kind of, oh my God, why don't I use an algorithm? What am I doing? Rather than having, let's say your password is fish and chips 11, Right, fish and chips, one, two, three. See, otherwise I'll forget what I said. Fish and chips, one, two, three. And use that everywhere, right? Rather than doing that, have an algorithm that is relative to the thing you're logging onto. So let's say, for example, you're logging onto the Bank of America. Have an algorithm where there is a pattern that you can always remember every time. So for example, your pattern could be your algorithm could be, it is the first letter of the website, so Bank of America, B, not W, not WW, so B, then it's a number of my own choosing, right, which is uh, 1234, then it's the last letter of the website, and it's capitalized. So it's small B, 1234, Bank of America, A, A, and then it's a hash mark, it's pound sign. So my password for Bank of America would be small b, one, two, three, four, capital A, hash mark. That's not long enough. So you'll have to work out, but you get the point, right? You want to do an algorithm that ends up with, I think, 10 characters. Eight is the minimum on, on a lot, but that's going to change. So I would just do 10 just to be safe, right? Or more than eight is the point. Um, so now let's say I go to Super Lotto. I have, a, I have a lottery ticket from three years ago that I never cashed in. It was only a dollar. It's all right. Uh, so I go to Super Lotto, right? And I log in. What's my password for Super Lotto? Small s, one, two, three, four, capital O, pound sign. Easy. First and last letter. It's an algorithm. Okay, what's, what, if, what if I go to Google? Small g, 
one, two, three, four, capital E, pass, hash sign. I can have a new password for every single thing. Now, it's not, it's unhackable. It's not, it's unbreakable. There is potential that a human being will have two of your passwords, look at it and go, oh, I figured out their password. I can get in everywhere. But that person would absolutely have got into your old system way before any of this. And most of the time, it's not a human being looking at it. It's a computer, right? So have an algorithm. It's so much easier. And the first couple of times you use it, it can be frustrating because you don't quite get it. But then you do this for like a couple of weeks. That's it. Your life's changed. You are now the algorithm person. That's what you will do. Trust me. You won't change. It's so much easier. And you want to make the algorithm a little bit complex so that the first time you use it, you have to write it down because five or six times after using it, that just can't, you won't even think about it. You've done it so many times. Now you can have a really complex password. Now, in theory, you can have a 16-letter password. It drives my wife nuts when she has to sign in on one of my accounts because she can't figure out my algorithm. And I, you know, she's like, what's your password for Google? Oh, it's this. Okay. But it's easy for me. I remember it. So do it. There are a couple of issues with it, okay, which I want to address. One is password resets, right? Um, so what happens if you have... Small b, one, two, three, four, capital A, hash mark for Bank of America. And they say they got a data breach, which they do. They get a data breach and say, like, everyone's got to change their password. Now what do you do? Okay, so now you want to find a sequential order to your algorithm. So you can remember, it's a pain in the ass, right? But there is really no workaround for this. There's really, there's nothing, and there is no way that you can avoid this. Your workaround can be, hopefully, if they're a good website, they will allow you to do the same thing but with a different special character or swap the capitals, right? So it's capital B, one, two, three, four, small a, pound sign. So you can, you can work on iterations of the algorithm. Again, it's not perfect, but there isn't a better system, right? So you have to deal with that. Um, the second thing is that some websites don't allow particular special characters. If they're a really poorly run, poorly administrated website and their security is just antiquated, you for some reason you might reach one says the at sign is not a special character, is not allowed. And so all of your web, all of your passwords use the at sign except for this one. So I have found that the pound sign is allowed on every single one of them, right? But then everyone in the world would use that. Exclamation mark I think is used on almost every one of them. Asterix is used on almost, not Asterix, the Gaul, the Asterix. I never know how to say that. I sound like an idiot. Um, and of course, parentheses, right? So you could use one of those ones or, or to, I mean, like a good algorithm. What if the whole thing's in parentheses? What if the whole thing starts with, starts with a special character, starts with exclamation mark, algorithm, ends with um, Asterix? I mean, those little changes make your password almost impossible for anyone to hack and way easier than this idea of write a phrase that you can remember because then you have to have a phrase for everyone okay what's my bank of america password it's bank of america you suck so bad password you suck so bad what is it mm, ea sports is in the game it's in the game for electronic arts whatever it is you know free advertising send me games so yeah get an algorithm that's how you manage your passwords just start doing it you don't need a password manager. You should not have the same password for everything. There's no need to, right? Um, and you don't have to do it all at once. You can keep your crappy old password, fish and chips one, two, three, right? You can keep that for all your websites and then slowly but surely as you work through, develop your algorithm and then change. Okay, I'm going to change my Google password. Okay, I'm going to change my um, Microsoft password. Okay, I'm going to change my whatever. You see what I'm saying? Just go through and change them all to the new algorithm. Within six months, you'll have done every single website you have. And if you ever have one of those websites that says you haven't logged on for six months, six months, do you want to come in and log on? And you're used to that, going to the website and then going, password. I don't fuck, what is the hell is that? Well, you'll know it. You'll know it instantly, you know? And then if you really pro privacy mattered, you could say, well, I, chose, I changed my algorithm once a year. You know, I don't bother with that shit. Uh, but if you're Hillary Clinton, you might want to think about that, that kind of stuff. Anyway, no slam on Hillary. <laughs> That's it. I just wanted to put that up there. Now you know. This is how you fix your password system. If you've got a better system, let me know.
Bye.